There we have the tail of the tape for this featherweight championship bout. Undefeated is the challenger at 6-0, taking on the five and three champion, Carl Gallagher. Seven years between them, the height, one inch between them, the weight championship on point at 145. Interestingly though, Dara Kelly already owns a win over champion Carl Gallagher. Unfortunately, Dara had to take a little bit of time off due to an ACL injury, but is coming back and taking what he thinks should rightfully be his. Speaking with Dara during the week, he said, I fully expect Carl Gallagher to take me to the ground if he does. I'll submit him like I did before and like I do to everybody else. He claims to be the number one featherweight in the country. He exhumes confidence. People are, you can hear the support here, Phil. It's all for Dara Kelly. It's not too often you will hear a champion being announced at his promotion and be booed to the cage. But and in Carl Gallagher is a champion for a reason. In a recent interview I had with Dara Kelly, he said he's been poking the bear. He's been trying to get into Gallagher's head on social media. Nice quick hand straight away by Kelly. Gallagher trying to use that fadeaway hook. Looks to get the takedown as Kelly predicted. Nice defensive wrestling on turn from Dara Kelly. Dara Kelly, he seems to have put on a decent amount of muscle mass in between their previous fights. The thing I will say about Carl Gallagher, training out of Team KF, every yes, time he gets in here, he gets better, gets the takedown, and in the full mount straight away, Phil. I was about to say, every time he goes away and comes back, you're seeing an improved version of Carl Gallagher. And I asked Ian Gary at the top of the show, yeah. are, is Kelly just confident, or is he underestimating what Carl Gallagher can do? You can see Kelly trying to dig in there for an underhook on the leg. If anything, just trying to perhaps get the half guard back. Gallagher looked almost to be setting up perhaps a triangle there. Looked like he may have been trying to step over on it, but needs to be wary of that butterfly hook. Yeah, beautiful work by Kelly, and he gets it, and he's in full now. Beautiful transitionary work from the challenger. Again, and you see just how intelligently he takes them out. Starting off low, starting off with the palms of his feet together, almost like in prayer, yep. and then slowly, methodically works his way up the body. And Kelly needs to be wary of giving the arm. Gives away the mount, and That's now it. has Gallagher in his guard, looking for a possible triangle into arm bar, belly down. The elbow looks just safe. Gallagher doing the right thing by trying to stack in towards him. As you say, the point of the elbow looks safe there. Call transitions inside the full guard of Dara Kelly. Nice transitions by both men here, attacking in their grappling. Gotta, we talked about before, Phil, yeah. on previous fights. He almost creates a little space to trap his opponents, but in this case, as we've just seen, when that space creates against somebody of Kelly's level he'll reverse you and end up in the better position Dara kelly six and oh as an amateur i believe all wins by way of submission finish he's one of the most ruthlessly aggressive submission grapplers submission mma fighters we have on the island and kelly is talking to chris fields in the corner fields is barking out instructions and kelly turned and spoke to chris fields as he was doing that knee on belly full mount this is a beautiful display by the challenger phil just cut through transitionary work there. Had a grip of the lat on Carl Gallagher, who again seems to be trying to get out the back. He's Needs to be wary of giving yeah. the arm. Yes, no. Excellent work again, though. Now I would imagine the fields will be saying you need to get this position and hold it for a moment. And somewhat interestingly, that butterfly hook is something that we've seen. Oh, he's got the head, head on triangle from the bottom. From the bottom. Very rarely finished. Time has going to get past us as well, but. Excellent open round. Ex the exchange of grappling here is phenomenal, and it's almost like, in some ways, Dara Kelly has been provided with a cheat sheet of what Carl Gallagher is going to do. He's implementing a lot of the tactics that we've seen champion Carl Gallagher use, using that butterfly hook to great effect. It's almost a, it's almost as if it's like Street Fighter, but he's using the high and against Ken, you know. Yeah. Couple of submission attempts, the belly down armbar here, but. Gallagher just got the point of the elbow out of danger where he couldn't hyperextend that elbow. But again, just look at a Carl Gallagher in his corner here, and he looks so confident to the point of cockiness. But I think to be as good as you 
as Carl, uh, sorry, as Dara Kelly is, you have to have that confidence. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Very, very close round, though. See, the, the transitions there were plentiful. It's almost as if they were like flipping like a coin. It was two sides of a coin flipping and switching. Striking wise, nobody really seems to be in the ascendancy yet. It seems to be the grappling where they're really dueling. So Kelly, he called for a Gallagher shot. It came and we spent the first round on the map. Will we see a little bit more in the stand-up realm? Big shout at Dara echoing around the arena here. Kelly straight away wastes no time. Level change, gets a takedown, is in the full guard of Carl Gallagher, long limbs of Gallagher. Kenshill could be looking for triangles, arm bars here himself from the bottom, Phil. Does have that trademark butterfly hook in on his left side. Maybe looking for a sweep there, but he's creeping that leg slowly up the back of uh, Dara Kelly again. Potential for a little bit of rubber guard, but has an arm trap, now full guard. Very accomplished grappler is Carl Gallagher, 2016 Naga European champion in the gi and no gi. So knows exactly what he's doing there. You almost think that Kelly's waiting for Gallagher to do something that he can exploit it. Steps across to the opposite side, gonna slide that knee through. Beautiful work by Dara Kelly on top. Potential to slide through just in the scarf, I think. He has done so, yep, beautiful, beautiful work. Expect the transition to full man perhaps here, Phil. And what he's doing so well is he's keeping the knee, he's keeping his right knee at the hip of Carl Gallagher, preventing him from turning into him, yeah. creating a little bit of a block there. And he done just that as Gallagher was looking to turn. Potentially going north and south here, look, setting up a choke maybe, Phil. If we see that arm go from underneath the back of Carl Gallagher, reaching in to connect the hands, just slowly, methodically moving around. As you say, could be setting up the north-south choke here if he connects the hands. There, there the hands go. connected. And Kelly was aware of the egg. Almost could see him looking at his right arm to see where the danger was. See, now in that north-south position, but from here, there's a multitude of attacks. There's S-mount, there's the, the S-mount Kimura. Big shot digging to the gut of Carl Gallagher, our champion. He's sort of shots to, to soften up Carl and almost force him into some sort of movement. Nice that's, what I'm saying, that's what I was alluding to earlier, Phil. It's almost like he waits for Gallagher to try something and yeah. then counter that. Like a, a Venus flytrap just sitting waiting for something to happen to lock down on some sort of submission. Carl needs to be aware of being caught in a crucifix position here. The final 20 seconds of the second round and big display so far by Kelly digging to the body again. Potential for him to slide that knee, knee on belly in the mount if he so chooses. Gallagher does well to get through, looking for the guillotine choke, time is going to get away. And that's the two rounds that he's ended in a potential submission position. Venice is on the back. On the bell, shot landed on the bell, but Dara Kelly raises his arms to the crowd. Very, Again, very confident. That confidence. And why would they after a performance like that? Very dominant second round, was able to, to dictate the pace, was able to dictate the ebb and the flow of that particular round though. I feel it's not like he didn't tell you this in the lead up. In your sit down yes. interview with Dara Kelly, he basically explained what's happening beforehand and, and, and he's, he's executing that, that plan. I almost thought he was giving too much away in the interview, but he's saying it and he's doing it, the hallmark of a great fighter. So Phil, two rounds in, what does Carl Gallagher need to do here? Potentially Carl Gallagher, I've, I've said it before and I was wrong in a previous fight, but potentially he may need uh, a, a finish to, to remain champion. I think he needs to be a little bit more aggressive with his striking. It seems to be he's almost waiting to react to the stimulus that, that, that Dara Kelly's giving him. What I think he needs to do is kind of take the fight, not recklessly, but intelligently use his strikes and move around Dara Kelly. We've seen at the start of the second round when Gallagher tried to exchange Kelly. Won't apologize for change levels instantly and got the takedown. So Gallagher, that will be playing on his mind surely as he's coming out here for the third round, potentially three minutes away from losing his title. 
Dyer Kelly fixed the tick time from the get-go. And there's Gallagher changing levels. There were like two rhinos butting heads there. But again, there's that butterfly sweep slowly. Find a position here. Gallagher needs to win this one. Heavy hips from Gallagher, but is he going to be swept by Dyer Kelly? Yes, there he it is. is. That is beautiful work by Dara Kelly. And into full mount again. You can be nothing but in awe of his ground game here, Phil. It, against one one of the most competent grapplers we've seen in the Clan Wars cage. Dara Kelly really is just showing high intelligence. He has Pucks big strikes. Strong vicious strikes. He yep. wants to take this title away from the champion. Big shots coming down. Gallagher rolls. Back Good. taken. No interest in submissions. Heavy, heavy shots here. Huge Dara strikes. Kelly. Referee Arm Wallace taking a long, hard look at it. Warning him about hitting the back of the head. And, and that's it. Kelly has over. done it. He has stopped Carl Gallagher in the third round. He abandoned the submission hunt and rained down with punishing strikes and is the new featherweight champion. Dara Kelly undefeated and now undisputed as the Clan Wars amateur featherweight champion, putting on an absolute clinic against old foe Carl Gallagher. Here we see that butterfly sweep once again, transitioning to the mount. And from there, he flicked a switch, landed huge strikes, and that was it. Game over. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mr. Aaron Wallace has called a stop to the action at one minute of round number two. For your winner, the FTKO and new Clam Wars featherweight champion, Dara Kelly! Please have a applause for Carl Gallagher. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the new Clan Wars amateur featherweight champion, Dara Kelly. Dara, two belts, how's that feel? Ah, uh, this is all I live for. I fucking love this shit. Respect the card. He's a fucking, he came out a lot tougher. He had a lot more fight in him than what I expected. And I'm just glad to get through that. He's a tougher. One of the most important aspects of that fight seemed to be the butterfly hook you got and the butterfly sweep, that was something you were landing continuously. Is that something that you had planned for? Was that part of the game plan? 100%. Every time I have a new opponent, my coach Barney, he studies them. He picks out a weakness. It's not the first time he's seen Gallagher was susceptible to being swept. And we drilled it hundreds and hundreds of times. And thanks very much to Barney for that because it paid off. Now, not to put you on the spot, the previous fight that we just watched, Tiernan Lachlan versus Carl McBlain, that was a number one contender fight. What are your thoughts about potentially Tiernan as your next opponent? Tiernan? Tiernan can get it next. He can get it whenever. I'll TKO. I'll TKO Tiernan as well. I've finished everyone I've ever fought. Look at the support I have with me. There's over 100 people from around my hometown, and every one of them coming out today. He spurred me on, not that more, and it fucking means everything to me. Tiernan can get TKO next. Ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated and now undisputed Clan Wars featherweight champion, Dara Kelly!